tonight I'm taking this time out to pray for those who are online. Let us pray. Kind loving Father, as I come up before you to petition on behalf of those who are online, I pray that you'll forgive me of every sin in thought, in word, and deed, that my petitions may not come up before you in vain, but that you will indeed hear. Lord, I present those who are online, uh, whatever issues that they may be going through, I present them before you, whether it is health issues, I pray that you'll intercede in each of their cases, be it physical, spiritual, mental, emotional, or otherwise. I pray that you, who are our great physician, you are the balm in Gilead, that you will intercede and grant relief, grant healing, grant restoration, make well again, that they may be able to testify of your goodness and tell others of what you have done for them. For those that are going through financial difficulties, I present them before you, O Lord, that you will intercede in each of your cases. You who own the cattle upon a thousand hills and all the gold and silver in the world belongs to you. I pray indeed that you will bring them relief as well. Uh, Father, especially for those who have proved you by the returning of your tithes and offering, I pray that you will indeed keep your promise to them, that they may indeed tell others of your goodness. And those that have yet to trust you in this matter, O oh Lord, may your spirit impress upon their hearts to do so now. Also those that are going through social issues in life, relationship problems between family members, between friends, uh, co-workers, at school, wherever it is, O oh Father, you do not wish to see division among people. You want reconciliation. So I pray that indeed you'll intercede in these cases so that you can bring about those reconciliation, those uh, who have been divided by long time uh, divisions and that you'll restore those relationships so far. And whatever other needs that they may have, I ask these mercies with thanksgiving in Jesus' precious name. And when time on earth is no more, may they all find a place with you in your eternal kingdom. In Jesus' precious name, I ask these mercies with thanksgiving. Amen. Almighty God, our Lord, blessing Father, we come before you this day to give you thanks and praise for the way you have kept us from morning until now. Lord, we are so thankful for your continued care over me, and I am so thankful that you died on Calvary's cross to save me from my sins. Lord, as this day progresses, I know, dear God, that your blessings is outpoured because I can feel them. We see the very, the rain, the sunshine, the very air that we breathe. We know it's a blessing from you. So I ask you, God, that you will continue to be with me through my journey. And I also ask you, God, that you will give me the continued um, energy to serve you, knowing God that is best. Father, I want to take special time this afternoon to pray for our crusade and faith. I ask you, God, that you will be with each soul that we have contacted. Lord, we have gone into that community and we have knocked on many doors, give out many flyers, and we ask your Father, even tonight, that you will touch those hearts and help me, Father, that they will come to know you. Who is Christ eternal? Help them to recognize that we are living in the very last days of earth history and that it's important for them to come to you before it's too late. Pray for the presenter, Dr. Carrington, that as he preached night after night, they God, so they will for the kingdom. And also that our souls as members will be closer drawn to you. I pray for the members of Tabernacle as well. And I ask thank God that you will bless each member there as well as those of faith. You that say, God, continue to be with me. Help that as I lead in this church that you will give me the right words to impart to individuals. And that I will follow your leadings at all times. Father, I ask that you will help me to walk faithfully with you. And help me, God, that as a result, I will be saved in your kingdom when you come. Be with me continuously. Give me the strength to carry on. And Lord, when you come, I want to be saved. And I ask God that you will give me that power to always trust you and to follow every instruction that you have, knowing that if that is done, I will be with you forever. 
guide, protect, and help me, Father, that I will be saved when you come. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Most loving and forgiving Father, I, your child, once again come before you. Lord, I come before you because I want you to bless those that I am praying for online today. I want, the, I want you to bless those who are going through some type of heartache, some type of stress, some type of uh, depression, some, some illness, uh, wh whatever it may be, my Lord. I pray to you, dear Lord, that you will bless those online. Keep them strong. Help them to see that you are a God of all wisdom, all knowledge. And you understand exactly how they are, what they are facing. You said you, you were tempered in all points as we are. And yet, Lord, you have came to victorious. And I know, Lord, you can make those online victorious too. I pray, dear God, that you will reach out and touch them this very moment, wherever they are, in the highways and the byways. I pray, dear God, that you will touch them Touch their hearts, touch their families, touch their loved ones. Oh, Father, help them in their finances, help them in their struggles, in their medical condition. Oh, Father, in their illness, dear Lord. I pray, dear God, that your, 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 um, you will do as necessary for your people. Oh, Father, thank you once again for the guidance of your Holy Spirit. And I'm praying, dear Lord, that someone online will feel your presence right this very moment. And I thank you, Lord, for all that you have done for them and continue to do for them in your heavenly court. In Jesus' name do I pray. Amen.